What's going on YouTube? It's your boy living in London back again. You know the deal already. If you haven't, it means a well to your boy. If you subscribe, comment, like, and share. And if you do subscribe, hit the notification bell on the top right hand corner. So when I release a video, you get a notification, I get a view. Sharing is Kevin, it helps my channel grow. Also, follow me on Instagram. It's living underscore in underscore LDN. It's all lowercase to so give your boy a follow because we're nearly at 6,000. Come on. Shout out to my OGs and shout out to all new followers as well. And shout out to my secret agents like that to send me information. Mm. So this one is about these fake positive YouTubers out there, people. Yeah, these fake reformed criminals that like to uh, preach that they're doing better than certain people. And, um, you know, they're just fucking full of shit, people. So today we're going to expose them. And this one is Snitchy Bumbaclark. I'm going to try hard not to use his name. I've had to make the video about four or five times. But I've made a video, with, a few videos with his name before. And one or two of them have been flagged. So I'm not trying to use this guy's name. You know, but you all know who I mean when I say Snitchy Bumbaclark, right? We have to break this down, people, into all different sections. This guy, <clears throat> he loves to preach like he's doing really, really well and he's better than certain other people or other reformed criminals because he's not on benefits and he's not this and he's not that. So let's break it down and let's see. So first of all, this little sausage, snitchy bumbaclart, is still on license, yeah? <clears throat> cool. So you've got to act and move differently when you're on license. I get that, I get that, I get that. Uh, so let's talk about his hazard first, yeah? Because he likes to talk about living in the bedsit, living in the bedsit. And he talks about Dam and G living in the hostel. All right, cool. So let's see, let's focus on where you live, my guy. You're squatting in a bird's house who you met on plenty of fish when you was in prison. That's what you told me, innit? You met her when you was in jail on plenty of fish. And the only reason you're in Essex right now is because she lives in Essex. And she's obviously bought the house or something, or she's renting the house, whatever the situation is. And then you've come, wormed your way in there, and then feel like you've got some sort of ownership to it. My guy, you're one argument from getting booted back to your mum's on the sofa. That's if even she will have you. Do you know what I'm saying? You're a homeless guy making fun of people with their own accommodation. I tried, this flat took me 10 years to get. I'm sure Damon G's going through his own struggles, um, but you have to go through the hostel systems and then um, shared accommodation and all the other stuff. It's a long fucking struggle. So you trying to belittle people um, when you just live at a bird's house and you bat, you pay mortgage payments. No, you don't, bro. No, you don't. You may help give her some money, but you got to have credit history. you got to um, have a deposit and all the other stuff. So that house has nothing to do with you. Just because you've luckily got wormed your way into a bird with a flat or her own house, that's on her, not you. Do you know what I'm saying? You're still a homeless guy, bro. So let's remember that. You're one, you are homeless, yeah? And ain't nothing wrong with being homeless, but just... Don't get on your high horse when you get a bloody a bird that, uh, who's got a gaff because you're still homeless at the end of the day. Do you know what I'm saying? That's the first thing, yeah? The second thing <clears throat> is what's going on with all this fake help? And if anyone needs a job, if anyone needs anything like that, I'll come, just, just contact me. I'll help you. I'll do this. I'll do that shit. But let me know if anyone's got a job from that little snitchy bumper clock because I swear he's just full of shit. Someone sent me, yeah? That snitchy bumper clerk was trying to tell people, I've got the, I've got the screenshot, I'm sure you must have seen it on my story, yeah? Remember, this guy's on license, yeah? This idiot's on license, yeah? And he's putting posts up saying, listen, if you want £50,000 in your account, yeah, you've got to have a credit rating of a certain amount, um, DM me and I'll, and I'll hook it up. When I see it, I'm like, that's got to be fake. So I sent it to him on WhatsApp. And he's like, oh, yeah, 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 blah, 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 it's making some bullshit up. Now, I know, and he knows what that was. That's fraud, bro. What the fuck are you doing? Now, this is why I bring this up. If you're going to be online and you're committing crimes and you're doing little fraud jobs, cool. That ain't none of my business. But see, when you're on this reformed positivity, um, a reformed prisoner, before ex-criminal, all the other shit, and you're doing all this positive stuff, yeah? And then you're trying to get people to fucking put money into their account. And more times when you do that kind of stuff, 50 grand and so on, they have no real like, activity in their account, it gets locked, it gets flagged. So you're literally going to ruin someone's credit in 2022. That's what you're advertising, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? And imagine you'd have done that now, and you'd have got a little four or five grand drink out of it, and you've done it a couple more times. You wouldn't have been telling people you've got your money from that, would you? You'd be telling people in your righteous thing about how you work on the railways, and how you're doing all this and you're doing all that. And all these other guys on benefits, they're just bums in their little bed sits and that. That's how you try to drop it, innit, bro? But we're not going to let this slide, bro. You know? You want to play in my playground? Cool. But there's rules, bro. There's fucking rules. And we don't commit crime around here. We are on this positive shit. We are trying to show people a different way. Do you know what I'm saying? And also, we're having fun. 
Yeah, so I'm gonna tell you on, on broke and on benefits and all the other shit is to let you guys know when you do go on this life, it's not all good. You're not just gonna come out of jail, meet a bird, uh, jump in a house and then get a job and all that. A lot of the time it didn't work out like that. You know how many times I was safe for surfing when I come out of jail? Or I come out of jail and I'm in a hostel and that, some shitty little hostel. It takes time and it's a process, people. But like this guy makes it seem like you just come out of jail and if you've got your shit together, then you sort it. Nah, bro, nah. You know what I'm saying? It's not that easy, bro. And what have you got in your own name? Literally, what have you got in your own name? Nothing, bro. If you get sacked, yeah, you're back on Benny. If that bird kicks you out, you're back at your mum's on the sofa. You've got nothing concrete, nothing in your own name, nothing secure where no one can take away from you. Do you know what I'm saying? You're literally on borrowed time, my bro. So just remember that next time you want to make fun of people. And another thing now, yeah, we got this guy, Snitchy Bumberclark as well. This one took the... This one was, I left this one last, yeah, because I couldn't believe this one. This little tramp snitchy, yeah, is offering single mum's help over Christmas. If you, anyone's help, I just can't, I can't bear to uh, see people struggling, all this other shit. So if you need any help uh, with um, Christmas presents and that and you're struggling, message me and I'll see what I can do. So this one uh, woman messaged uh, snitchy and said, yo, can you help me? I'm struggling this Christmas, this, that, the other. So he said, yeah, yeah, I got you, babe. We do this, we do that sort of thing. Do you know what I'm saying? So the woman waited, the woman waited. And then Snitchy was just long enough, long enough. I put all the screenshots on my Instagram, yeah? So you go and check it out if you ain't seen it already. And then she realised that Snitchy had just put that up. But he had no intention of actually helping anyone. Imagine that. Imagine that, people. So if there's anyone else out there that contacted Snitchy to try and get help, don't worry, I'll keep your... Um, uh, your private information private, but let me know, because this guy, Snitchy, was offering people help, and then when they messaged him, it was long in it. So you know what that means, innit? This guy is obviously up to no good in some sort of way, innit? He's posting dumb shit. You would never catch me posting that on my, on, on my Instagram if, you were, if anyone wants 50 grand in their account. That's crime, bro. That shows you're not a reformed character. Number two, you're fucking homeless. Don't ever get it twisted, bro. Living in the beds is best. That's definitely better than living in a bird's ass that can kick you out any minute. Do you know what I'm saying? And then thirdly, you're offering single mum's help. Now, I ain't offering no single mum's help. Do you know why? One, I've got my own fucking kids. And two, I can't do it because I'm broke, bro. So you, you, Mr. Holier Than Now, let's see how holier you really are, bro. Why did you leave that woman, yeah, to just sort it out herself? Why did you offer people help and then take it away, not even try and help them, just gas them up? Do you really want followers and clout? Do you really want people to think you're that good, bro? You're a fucking scumbag, bro. Straight up scumbag. Davin G was right about you. You're Marv's little nephew in that, yeah? But you're full of shit. Everything you said on Marv's um, uh, uh, podcast, like you said, was bullshit. Because Davin G, you don't even know him. So this whole guy, this guy is full of shit. His whole story is fabricated and he's trying to show you uh, a reality that ain't real. Do you know what I'm saying? He's trying to show you that, look, if you just come out of jail and sort yourself out, you can just get a house straight away. I've got mortgage payments. I don't know what these guys are up to on benefits. I work every day and all this other shit. If working so good, so good for you, my bro, then why the fuck are you trying to do fraud and all that other shit on your Instagram? Because you know just as well as I know what that is. You've got to be an idiot if you don't know what that was. Do you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so let the people know, innit? Be real. Be like me, G. Be 100% authentic. When you're up, you're up. When you're down, you're down. You know? But anyway, shout out to all my new followers, shout out to all my old followers, shout out to all my new subscribers, shout out to all my old ones. Uh, I've got a sick video coming for you tomorrow. Get this video to 500 likes and I'll drop it. Peace.